I miss my friend Grian. You see, last week I had an uncontrollable urge to return to the Hermitcraft server, and when I returned, I discovered this rather strange looking thing. Now it turns out this was used by Grian and Scar to try and summon me back. Scar said that he was chafed a lot, but clearly it worked because, well, I'm back here. I'm back on the Hermitcraft server. Now I've tried to talk to Scar about this, but every single time I message him about it, he's busy. And I'm starting to think that maybe he's avoiding the whole situation. He's, uh, he's been DMing me, by the way, about something on the server. <laughs> Do you guys know what he's DMing me about? Something that's in a cave. Circle. The shrine. He keeps messing me. He's like, Scar, I want to know what the shrine is. You got to come over here and explain. I'm like, what happens in Grumbot's cave stays in Grumbot's cave? <laughs> it definitely feels like this was Green's idea. But you see, Green is currently away in Vietnam. Uh, I really want him to come back onto the Hermitcraft server. So I'm thinking... Maybe I might be able to use the same method to get him to return. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. I mean, what does his head look like? If I wanted to make a really simple version of Grian's head, what would that be? <laughs> I mean, is this right? <laughs> is this right? <laughs> Seems really wrong. Seems very, very wrong. If I get this too wrong, I might end up bringing back someone else. I don't know. Okay, I think it's good enough. So now all I have to do is, I guess, kind of walk around this circle a little bit. And then say things that Green would say. <clears throat> um, talk to the waffle. Um, pluck my nose hairs and send me to Alaska. Um, I think I'm going to start a war today. Um, backs of bases are stupid. Um, pesky bird. Yeah. I feel like that worked. I think Green's probably somewhere up in the mountains of Vietnam having a wonderful time and suddenly I have a pang of desire to return to the Hermitcraft server. I'll be waiting for him with open arms. That didn't sound too desperate, did it?